Hello, this is Joaquin Gretsch. I'm going to give you a very basic tutorial on time value of money using my financial calculator. Uh, first, if you want to see more tutorials and learn more about the calculator, you could go to Help, and this is a web page. Here you have all kinds of videos and uh, manuals in different languages, and anything that I would find and post in the future would be in this page. So let's begin with a simple example. First, let's go to Easy Mode. Uh, here is the time value of money calculations, which is usually what you use for most uh, financial exams and uh, base, basic stuff in reality. So um, let me think of an example. Let's say that you want to know how much money you will have with $100 invested today. So today, the present value, you say you have $100 uh, in two years. So first, you know this is annual compounding. So the periods are going to be years, so two years at 10%, so 10% interest rate. How much you're going to have? This is a future value, so just click on this button, and this is what you're going to have after two years, $121. Uh, you, you will notice that it's negative. I uh, will explain later why, but that's normal in every financial calculator. Um, just to make sure, very simple, instead of uh, two years, let's say it's one year, 10% of this is gonna be 110. So you see it works perfectly. If you go to monthly compounding, instead of one year, it's going to be one month. So it's going to increase very little. And remember that, let's say, uh, instead of years, let's say it's going to be, um, instead of one, so it's going to be two. You see it increased very little. But we want it annual, because it's very easy for us to understand. It's 121. How would you do this in the regular calculator? Well, you go to the calculator, this is present value, this is future value, this is the interest rate, and this is the periods, so the years in this case. So the present value will be 100, the interest rate is 10%, the number of years is 2, and the future value is what you want to calculate. So you could either hit it or click com compute, which is CPT and future value. You see you get the same number. If you wanted to do this uh, monthly, because a lot of times people forget to change the settings, so they have it by default in monthly, so you, they will get a very small number. It's here on settings. This is the previous per year of the compounding. So you put it to 12, that means monthly. 12 times a year. You compute now the future value, you get a very small number. A lot of people get this number, then they write to me saying that the annual compounding is not working. Um, just remember you have the right number in here. For annual, it should be one payment per year. Right? So you go to here, compute it, and what did I do? That is not correct. Oh. Oops. So you have a 1, 1, now you compute it, and it should be 121. There you go. Um, now you wonder why this is negative. On the financial calculators, um, it uses a system that is called cash inflows and cash outflows. So you want to be precise, all the money that you put out, all the money that gets out of your pocket, should be negative. So for instance, in this case, you are investing $100, so you put out of your pocket, you put $100. So the present value should be in reality negative. Right? And all the money that you get in, cash inflows, is going to be positive. So when you calculate the future value, it's going to be positive. Um, this is, um, if you want to be precise, um, sometimes you should remember this if you get into more complex operations, like how much money you're actually putting on the payments, because you're adding uh, some money monthly or yearly you have to remember what is the sign but for most cases you just put whatever number you want in positive and then just ignore the sign on the results um, but then when you go into more advanced finance you have to notice that cash outflows is negative and cash inflows are positive i hope this was helpful and remember you could have more tutorials in here